Well, Shoreline Church and friends of Shoreline, thank you for just continuing to walk with us through this year in the book of Proverbs, taking these times for these, these reflections, these devotionals, and letting the Holy Spirit of God speak to your heart. I want to look with you at the opening verses of chapter 3 of the book of Proverbs. Very familiar. And, and even if you don't know Proverbs real well, probably at some point I'll be reading, you'll go, oh, I know that one. And so listen to God's word. Let him speak to your heart. My child, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and of man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. Let's break that down a little bit. Where do we put our trust? Where do we put our confidence? Where do we look if we're in a tough time? Trust in the Lord. I wanna challenge you. The path of wisdom is a path that keeps looking to the Lord and looking to the Lord, looking to his word, looking to his wisdom, following his ways. Trust in the Lord, how much? With all your heart. And then lean not on your own understanding. It's not just this call to trust in God, but there's kind of this warning. Be careful. I'm going I'm to paraphrase. I'm going to put it in my own words as I read this. Be careful, Kevin. You're not that smart. Be careful, Kevin. You can't figure everything out. I've been married long enough to have learned I'm not that smart. And my, my wife will, will point things out to me where I, I think I got things figured out. And she'll say, Kevin, do you realize that what you just did or what you said, that it was taken this way or that way. And I'm like, no, it, it wasn't. No, they didn't. And she'll kind of explain to me, like, oh, that's, no. And then I'll finally listen. I'll go, you're right. I, I mean, it, phew, over my head, I missed it. But when I trust in the Lord with all my heart, look to him, lean not on my own understanding, I'm going to be on the right path. Now, let me be clear. This is not an exhortation to stupidity, to irresponsibility, and to a lack of thinking. That's not what it's talking about. What the, what, what the book of Proverbs is saying is, ultimately, where do you put your trust? It's in the Lord, in His wisdom, in His leading, in his, and walking in His ways, not in what I knee-jerk think I should do. My knee-jerk response oftentimes is not the best response. My thoughtful, godly response, according to Scripture, is always a better response. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. And then in all your ways and everything you do, acknowledge him, recognize his presence. And I love this. He will make your paths straight. Instead of bouncing back and forth, I'm over here, I'm over here, I'm not sure where I'm going, what next? And I'm kind of wandering around and just, yeah, I know where I'm going. I walk a straight path in God's ways. That's my prayer for you this year. That's my prayer for myself this year, that we would walk in the ways of the Lord on the straight path that he lays before us that we would trust in him with all our heart, that we would use our minds, we'd study well, but ultimately we don't trust in our understanding or our perspective because we are flawed and God is not. And then we will walk a straight path of the wisdom of God. Lord, this is our prayer, that we will walk on your path of wisdom, that we will learn from you and listen to you and seek your wisdom. Lord, we thank you that you've given us minds to think and abilities to figure things out. Let us use our minds in, in, in the, the way of sort of maximum fruitfulness and maximum value, glory to you, value for other people. But Lord, at the end of the day, if we come to that moment where we're basing our decision on your wisdom or our perspective, Lord, will you remind us that it's always best to go with your wisdom, to not lean on our understanding. Lord, help us to walk with you this year with fresh eyes to see your wisdom, fresh hearts to receive it, and lives to walk in your ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, we've got church services at 9 and 11 in the courtyard and also in the parking lot. And so get online and register if you want to join us. And for some of you, you're kind of getting to that point as we're walking to the new year where, where you're saying, I'm ready to start meeting face to face. We're using social distancing. We're following all the protocols. We update our protocols on a weekly basis to make sure that we're keeping everyone safe. But when you're ready, come on back and join us on campus. If you feel more comfortable at home, we totally honor that. 
So we'll see you on campus, in the parking lot, or online this Sunday, 9 or 11 o'clock. God bless you. Have a great week.